Hello, Bloggineers. We're in Ukiah, California, and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. Our first stop is Grace Hudson Museum. This museum highlights regional art, culture, and natural history in the tradition of an extraordinary family. First, we're going to check out Poked Under Pressure, the art of handmade paper. This is a temporary exhibit that changes out every four months. Wait, is this made of paper? I think so. That's amazing. It looks like, like bricks. This piece is called What Does It Does Do? But uh, I, I don't know. This one is scissors and they drew scissors. And it looks like it's cutting the paper. There's a big hole. Does an ing always move? Does it? One thing I find amazing about all of these is that they come from paper. Like, this is all paper. It's this thing. Paper. And also, are these books paper? Yeah, they are. That's amazing. I already said that. In this room, uh, they show many different baskets that were made by Native Americans. This room is an exhibit about Grace Carpenter Hudson's family members because Grace Hudson, the name of the museum is Grace Hudson. Wow, they have a book for their family. There's also, there's also crazy hair art, a lot of family artifacts and objects. We're in the Grace Carpenter Hudson Gallery and she painted these things. A lot of her paintings are about Native Americans. Some of her early works are still lives. This one is 1887 to 1890. Now we're gonna go out to the wild garden. Oh, green right here. Yeah. So they're gonna ripen and they're gonna become little red guys. And we call them manzanitas. Now I have some manzanita that I've taken the seeds out of. If you guys would like to try some, put your hands out. This is a manzanita berry, and ma it, manzana is apple, so this is a little apple. And the seed of this will make you very sick, but it doesn't have a seed. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but when they say it's a little apple, I get a faint taste of an apple. But it's not a super strong taste because it's so small. It's not juicy, it's not hard, it's just kind of, uh, it's a harder texture. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. To me, it tastes more like dried apple because they're, it, because they're, it isn't juicy and uh, it's, fair, it's a bit crunchy too. At this booth, we're gonna play with some Native American toys. This rattle is made of a turtle and a deer's hook. This is a, a drill. When you wind this up and then when you spin it, this counterweight keeps it spinning so that it winds it back up the other way and you can just keep going. And you're gonna put your hands up. You gotta wind you've gotta wind the string up. That's it. Hey look how quick you got that. This is an acorn top. An acorn top. That is the Grace Hudson Museum. I think my favorite part was the section was the outdoor exhibit where you can play with all the different Native American toys. I don't really have a favorite part because it was all so cool. I like playing with the Native American toys and then seeing all the paper art, then uh, go into those still, li still lifes and other paintings by Grace Hudson. On to the next attraction. Woo! Our next stop is the Corner Gallery. This is a venue where art lovers can easily connect with those who make art. These are Paisanki eggs and they're selling them as a fundraiser to send to Ukraine. This is for featured young artists and you can express your thoughts in this notebook. So I'm gonna draw a cow. But it's a cow. 
We're gonna check out the chair affair, which is a silent auction, and these are all chairs that artists have decorated. The chairs here don't have to be physical chairs, they can be on the wall too. This is Van Gogh's. This is a timeout square. So I'm gonna vote for my favorite chair, which is the timeout chair number six. And that is the corner gallery. It was pretty good because I like all the uh, local paintings from different artists. And also I like the chair section, especially the timeout chair. My favorite part was also the chair auction and you can sit on any of the chairs but one. Our next stop is the world's largest redwood tree service station and museum. This place was constructed from a redwood tree trunk and moved to Ukiah from a grove in 1936. This museum has nobody inside. Ah, you spit on oh, me! Sorry. And get out of my shot. Have you ever been? Have you ever been to a museum that's inside a tree? That's like, wait, they have that in the Magic Treehouse books, right? There's like a big room inside a tree. That's like this. Do you know what would be a big problem though? If termites came and they would eat all the wood. We're inside a hollowed out redwood tree, and at first when I pulled up, I was like. World's largest, that's that's it from the outside, but then I was like, oh actually, yeah, this this is a huge tree. I spread my arms out and then I up? move over. That's almost that actually. No, that's more you didn't than, even move over correctly. Go back. That's more than two of me. No, go back. You no, have I'm to not. measure it correctly. One, two. Go back. Don't don't run over anything. Go. Pretty much through. This tree is pretty much three brothers in diameter because when you spread out your arms, that's like your height. This is how cheap gas was back then. 34 cents at 9 10. And now it's six dollars or more. That's like a 20 times increase. If you're in Ukiah, this attraction is worth going to because it takes like five minutes and you go to the world's largest yeah, redwood tree service. It is station. that large guy. Our final stop is Montgomery Woods State Natural Reserve. This is a 1,323-acre state-owned park located in the coastal range of Mendocino County. This is a 1.8-mile loop with like a 200-something elevation gain, and basically we go up and back down. Right now we're going up. This is a fallen tree, and hopefully that does not happen to us. <laughs> this is where the loop starts, because there's a sign saying to go that way, and then there's another sign there saying to go this way. So we'll go this way. The temperature right now is supposed to be like 80 something, but it feels like 70 something because we're in the shade. It's time to go on the boardwalk. I hope it lasts for a while because this is cool. So, brother got bitten by some bug that's not a mosquito, it's not a bee sting, we have no idea what it is. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep moving. Yeah, so if you go on this trail, make sure to get mosquito repellent, otherwise, like, I think all of us got bitten. And now we're on this long bridge going back. I'm gonna go in there. Okay, I'm gonna get out. And that is the Montgomery Grove Trail. I might've got the name wrong, but it's at Montgomery Woods State Park. Uh, we just wanna be quick because this is, oh no, there, see, there's a mosquito. Yeah, hiya. All right, so I mean, the scenery is not bad. The scenery I'd give like four they out of five. They just have way too much but, bugs. Yeah, 
including mysterious orange bugs that bite your neck. All right. No, I already know so, what it is. Okay. So we recommend you come here if you, br but only if you bring a mosquito repellent. Otherwise, you might suffer. I think it's an Asian giant hornet, and I thought I was I was a piece of wood. I don't know why, but they are not very smart. 